Today I'm in a place called Upper Hutt. Now, it's got a few different titles. It's known as New Zealand's smallest city, but also some people refer to it as New Zealand's weirdest city. These classic roofs that you see in New Zealand, which stops the rain getting on you, stops the sun getting on you, although there's not really much chance of that today because it's very gray and rainy, but that's okay. All right, let's see what we've got. How's that for a sign? Customers, no experience required. Apply within. Love it. The humor is alive and well here in Upper Hutt. Fantastic. There's an arcade over there. Right, I'm checking that out later. I love an arcade. And a barber's as well. Open seven days. God, are we even in New Zealand? Outstanding. Okay, we're going into the famous Upper Hutt Mall. I'm really excited. Let's see what we've got. We've got a Gloria Jeans. Looks pretty damn good. Farmers, obviously, classic. Mr. Minute. Not sure what that is, but shoe repairs. Okay. A lot of shakes and ice creams and stuff. Looks pretty decent. And a warehouse, otherwise known as Wadi Fadi. It's actually pretty big in here. This is better than I thought it would be. Hallensteins, another New Zealand classic. Sweat season. Oh, a little glasses shop there. Opsum. Nice, looks pretty swish. And a lift. I like that they have such a big sign for it. All right, sounds good. And another shot. All right, down. Oh, I don't know what they're building there. No idea. Right, down the escalator we go. What was down? What treats does downstairs have in store for us in this weird yet amazing mall? The Vogue store. Yeah, not a great deal really. Right, I've just spotted something that looks incredible. Curry Leaf, fine Indian restaurant and bar, lunch combo deal, and look how much it starts from. Nothing, it's free. Whoa, amazing, I'll be checking that out soon. All right, what's next? So here we are in one of New Zealand's many religious buildings, KFC. Uh, quite often people go here very, very, very regularly for um, oh, some singing in the mechanics. That's nice. Yeah, as I say, KFC, pretty much New Zealand's biggest church. Uh, a lot of members, as we can see, people going in right now to pay their respects and no doubt walk out with some chicken. Uh, should be good. Okay, it's a nice little roundabout there. And we've got, oh, we've got a cattery. We've got a cattery over in the distance there. What's that called? Pet, the Pet Centre. Okay, not the most creative name, but it's fine. We love a good cattery. And here we have chemist warehouses, kind of less cool, but more useful younger brother, bargain chemist. It's huge, look at the size of that place. Incredible. There's a massive countdown there as well, the main supermarket here in NZ, which I'm sure most of you know about. Monterey Cinemas, okay. Looks pretty, it's quite green here in Upper Hutt, considering it's the height of winter. I'm seeing quite a lot of greenery. Yeah, quite lovely, okay. Tricky sandwich as well. And a little karate center. Fantastic. Got some mountains in the distance too. It's quite, um, what's the word that everyone uses these? It's quite aesthetic here. In Upper, is that right? I don't think I've said that right. Who knows? Right, we found an alleyway. I mean, maybe not an alleyway, but it's definitely some sort of small road. Okay. A lot of boarded up shops here. Oh no, it's not boarded up. What am I talking about? It's just blocked out. Cheeky little bank. Okay, what is that? Metal injector. Oh, it's a body piercing place. All right, all good. I'm now saying bye to my brilliant tour guide, Braddy, who I bumped into. Um, he's going to plug his YouTube channel. Yeah, so my channel is Braddy on YouTube. I make New Zealand memes and slander videos and stuff like that. Kills, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for having me. Legends. <laughs> I love it. That was nice all to right. bump into Braddy. What a legend. But I've got to say, it is now raining, annoyingly. But let's not let that put us off. We'll explore Upper Hut for everything that it's got. Okay, here we have an Asian supermarket. I've, it looks wild. What is going on in there? Okay, that looks incredibly fun. Love it. God, look at it. Amazing. Looks pretty cool, to be honest. We've got a skincare place over the road. Happy days. All right, what is this? Prime Music Academy Acquire. 
sounds fun. Ukulele as well. Pretty good. Now that looks like a cool shot of humble and grand. Bit of a paradox, but all fine. Sierra Delta Civil Retail Therapy Store. Looks beautiful. Love it. I've got to say, I'm disappointed at how normal this place is. It just looks really nice. I want a bit more weirdness. So far, Upper Hut. Seems pretty good. It's not that weird. It seems quite normal, to be honest. Apart from a place called Metal Injectors. That was a pretty intensely named shop. But so far, despite the rain, well, seems quite nice. Seems lovely. Anyway, I'll get the camera off my face so you guys can see more of this weird, weird and small city. What have we got here? Oh God, it really is raining now. Look at that, it's chucking it down. But that's okay. That won't put us off. People, hello mate. What a legend. <laughs> what a legend. Shout out to George Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. I don't know if they're any good, but I'm guessing they are. The guys seem nice. Okay, so what are we working with here? Sports shop, which is closed, sadly. That's okay. Got bakery and coffee, that looks pretty good. Oh, nice. Cheeky little Ministry of Social Development. Timanatu Fakiato Order. All right, not sure what goes on in there, but I'm sure it's good. Oh my God, they've got an Ardoi. For those who don't know, Ardoi is a Thai eatery. Also, I'm not sure why I'm rolling the R. It's not a mouldy name, it's Thai for goodness sake. And the Red Cross store. Happy days. Okay. Okay, what's next? A McDonald's. Classic. Although, I don't fancy a burger right now. There's a guy playing guitar across the way. It's pretty cool. He's got sunglasses on, not sure why, because it's raining, but fair enough. Physique optometrist. See, look, this is one of the best things. Look how wet the ground is there, and there it's dry. <laughs> Hello, mate. Sweet ass. Have a good day. Cheers, mate. <laughs> what a legend. What a legend. <laughs> now, here we have something interesting. This is the office of Chris Hipkins, MP. But you know what? He's not just an MP. He's the Prime Minister. Incredible. All right, got a little sushi shop here, one sushi. I'd like more than one, to be honest, but that's all right. Tiger Lily. Tiger Lilster. Fantastic. Great Gibson homeware, welcome in. Thank you, looks nice. Right, let's just cross here. See what we heard, thank you so much. You. That was Zebra Crossing. Okay, the Cairo. Oh, here we go. The Cairo. We've got your back. Yeah, I've got a hand to them. That's actually quite good. Fair play. All right, what's next? Another roundabout. They love a roundabout here in Upper Hut. Little Kedadu in the middle there. Little sculpture. Pretty nice. Okay, what's going on down here? Gaming. Super cheap auto. Seems pretty normal so far. Just met some nice lads. Phoenix was one of them. And Rion, pretty cool boys. Gotta say, the rain is coming down thick and fast, but it's all right. Is it? <laughs> right, let's see what else we've got then. But as I say, so far, Upper Hut, it seems like a pretty middle of the road, <laughs> kind of bang average sort of place. It's not bad. Is it good? It's all right, it's all right. It's pleasant, it's pleasant. It seems like a nice place to make it a home, I have to say. Let's see what we are working with down here. Look at the size of that warehouse. It's a warehouse called The Warehouse. Now that's amazing. Got the car place there, little Mitsubishi. I know nothing about cars, no idea why I'm pretending. Okay, we collect donated goods. Very nice. Salvation Army, always doing good things. Happy days. Okay, have you ever seen a building redder than this? This is mental. All right, what's next? The rain has stopped. Fantastic. There's a random massive tree right there. 
pretty decorative. I like it. Oh, look, hello. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what a lovely cat. You coming with me? Come on then. I think you've got to go home, don't you? No? Okay. See ya. Oh, you're coming. Okay. Right, we may have a problem here. I've got a cat following me. Oh, what a lovely cat. See ya. Oh, it's... Okay, it's still here for some reason. There you go. See ya. Okay, there's a school there. Basketball hoops, nice. This country loves basketball and netball. They love it. One thing that I love is that netball here is played by boys. Back home, it's pretty much a girls only sport, but here they are smashing those stereotypes, which is good, a very good thing. Okay, got some funky looking buildings up ahead. Let's see what we are working with. a real with. blend of people today. Coming here, I thought it would just kind of be families or people at the upper end of the age bracket, but no, I've seen people of all, all persuasions, which is always a good thing. Right, this is not an ad, but this place smells amazing. That actually smells incredible. I'm sure it's the curry house. And oh, what's this? Furunaki Fare Taonga. H2O Extreme. Ah, this is the swimming pool place I've heard so much about. All right, let's go check it out. See what's popping up. There's a big Burger King over there. That's a huge Burger King. My God. Okay, and there is a swimming pool and it looks like it's being demolished. That's a shame. Okay, well, we tried. All right, well, that's good. There's, you know, construction, development, all that stuff. Thank you very much. All right, see you later, H2O Extreme. Bit of a shame, but oh well. What's on next? Yeah, not sure what's going on here or why it's being demolished, but I'm sure there's a good reason. Oh well, fair enough. We move on. Oh, some nice art. Look at that. That's a nice tui there. What does it say? Katapu. Katapu ai eni kakono hairako nui. May these tender seedlings grow into mighty trees. Katapu ai eni kakano hairako nui. Beautiful. Okay. Up ahead, we've been told to go to a place called Brewtown. Not too sure what to expect, but it should be good. Oh God, there's a train crossing. I've not seen one of these for years. It's quite fun. I mean, as long as you don't go behind the barriers, obviously. That was quite pleasant. Sure. See you later, have a good day. <laughs> Notice that in New Zealand, cities are quite industrialized. And what I mean by that is that places that would be in the UK, like business parks, like that, those sort of like warehouse style buildings with, you know, sort of like car repairs and a lot of heavy industrial type trades going on. They seem to be plonked in the middle of the city, which gives things a nice interesting edge. You can have a nice flat white at one side and then you know, head to the panel beaters the other. Variety is the spice of life. Okay, what is this place? This looks like a massive marquee. And look at that thing in the distance. Can you see that tower? It just says Brewtown on it. Well, in we go. God, this place is huge. Oh, there's a car there, better not get in its way. Okay, what is this thing? All right, we've got some historical things here. The Upper Heart Walk of Fame. This looks like Hollywood. Uh, Dunlop Building. Uh, okay. Sorry, the Dunlop Building is the first person on the Walk of Fame. It's a building, okay. Earl Curtin, Sir Francis Chichester, Colin Gibbs, Wayne Mason, Harry Kent, Doris Nicholson, John Simister, Selwyn Toogood. Oh, that is a cool surname. Toogood. Bruce Bold. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a couple of mouldy names, I must admit. Any luck over here? Jock McEwen. Rex Kurt, another Curtin. Michael Jack, Wilfred Jackson. John Stevens. Sir David Beatty, Sir George Chapman. P. 
Peter Spikerman and Graham Berry. Okay, sounds cool. Wow, all right, this place looks crazy. Let's head in. So we've looks like we've got some drinks places there. Sunday breakfast for only $25. Seems pretty expensive if you ask me, but that's just me. Wow, okay. That's a big tower that says Brewtown. A nice screen and some outdoor stuff. Okay, happy days. There's a brewery there. You can smell the sort of yeasty smell. All right. What is going on? So this is basically a massive uh, disused tyre factory which they've turned into a huge kind of brewery party kind of place. All right, let's explore. So what have I seen in New Zealand's smallest city? I've seen some really nice people, a little miniature mall, which is pretty cool, and a massive, massive brewery, which had some quite nice tasting beer that I obviously wouldn't know about. What are you talking about? And now, before we head home, hello mate, before we head home, it's time for a feed. Now I've been trying my hardest to eat very, very healthily lately. So what better way to enjoy a nutritious, delicious lunch than none other than one of New Zealand's premier restaurants, the gourmet, the delicious, Burger King. Just met the loveliest people, Amber and her partner, whose name I've sadly forgotten. I'm so sorry, but they were so nice. It was really nice to speak to them. So, what have I learned from my day in Upper Hutt? I've learned that when the forecast says it's going to be sunny, it isn't. But I've learned that despite this city, admittedly, maybe not being the most vibrant or having the most things to do, you can still find some hidden gems. I've been to a place called Brewtown where I had a beer. I've been to Burger King and met Braddy. He was pretty cool. He was really cool. And what else have I done? Well, had a coffee. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. So fair enough, Upper Hut, maybe not the craziest of places, but if you're looking for somewhere quiet, something a bit different on a Saturday afternoon, come out here. You can do a lot worse than this, believe me. So if you're looking for a place with a little bit of change of scenery, Upper Hut gets my vote. See you on the next one.